One reason Sylvia's Insurance Group is the leader in crop insurance across the nation is because we care. We care about providing the best products and coverage for producers. Let's talk about margin protection. Margin protection is a new multi peril product on the market this year. It's available in select states for corn and beans, wheat and rice. It provides the smallest revenue deductible in all of crop insurance. Let me explain how it works. I'll compare this with something you might be familiar with, an RP policy. Let's say that the RP spring price is set for $4.15 for corn, and your producer trend adjusted APH is 190. Take the spring price and multiply it by the trend adjusted APH, and you get the expected revenue of $788.50. Then multiply this against your level purchased, in our example 85%. This gives you a revenue guarantee of $670.23. Subtract the revenue guarantee with the expected revenue and you get your revenue deductible of $118.28. Your combination of yield and price loss will need to exceed $118.28 for this RP policy to pay out. Now let's compare this to margin protection. Margin protection starts with the projected commodity price. For corn, this is the Chicago Board of Trade December 2016 contract, average daily close from the dates of August 15th to September 14th, opposed to RP, which is the Chicago Board of Trade December 2016 contract, average daily close for the month of February. Differing from RP, margin protection sets the spring price five and a half months before RP does. Where RP only protects you from February to October, margin protection protects you from August the year previous until October of this year, an additional five and a half months of coverage. Now take margin protections, projected commodity price, let's say $4.15, and multiply it with the expected county yield. Margin protection uses the same county expected yield as ARP, which used to be called GRIP. This will give you an expected county revenue of $767.75. For available counties, margin protection sets a specific expected input cost value, in our example, $330. So if your expected revenue under margin protection is $767.75, minus your expected input cost of $330, you get the expected gross margin of $437.75. Take this margin times your 90% margin protection policy and you're left with a deductible of $43.78. This is one third the deductible under RP. County yield, input cost, and price only need to fall below $43.78 to trigger this policy. Margin protection is not designed to protect gross revenue like RP. It is designed to protect gross margin, the difference between gross revenue and input cost. For example, if input costs go up from September, when margin protection establishes expected input cost values, to planting time, you are covered. Never before have we seen coverage on margins for row crop farmers. Margin protection should, all things being equal, pay losses faster than RP and much more frequently. The biggest differences between margin protection and RP is MP is a county-based insurance product like ARP. Also, MP has a different discovery price which could be higher or lower. Thirdly, we have an added element of input cost, which means our revenue guarantee is taken against the expected gross margin producing a much smaller deductible than an RP policy. Lastly, a producer has to purchase MP by September 30th, 2015 for your 2016 crop, and then by March 15th, he can make a decision if he also wants to buy an RP policy. If you do purchase an RP policy on top of your MP, you will get a premium credit toward your margin protection policy, and in a loss situation, you will receive the higher of the RP or margin protection payment. We hope this helped clarify margin protection and its potential to you and your operation.